Jim's Kitchen. I'm Jim, and today on the show, we welcome back Gary, and we have special guest, newcomer, Jerry. Welcome to the show, guys. Welcome back, Gary. Oh, thank you so much for having me back. And nice to meet you, Jerry. You can oh. highly recommend it. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So, what will you be cooking for us today? Uh, today, uh, I'll Today, Jim, uh, we will be making a delicious Caesar salad dressing. The best. Yes, it's my recipe. Best. No. Well, I mean, we're going to be leaning towards my recipe. No, more. Mm -hmm. You should follow what I say because uh, I actually have the diploma. I mean, you can put what you want. In. Well, it doesn't take an 11 year diploma in cooking to learn how to cook. Okay. Well, it kind of It's does, kind of actually. a natural it, thing. It you know, it's no, more talent. To, no, see, yeah. if, you, if you study how to be a cook, you'll be better. You know, I don't need to study. I don't need to study. Jim. First, uh, first rule, you gotta keep those hands nice and clean. That actually is a very important uh, point, so you do have to wash your hands. Yeah, we don't As I always say, make sure your tools are nice and clean and your hands are your tools. So. Oh, is there like an echo in this room or something like that? So today, we're making a great Caesar salad recipe. We're gonna combine both of our talented recipes to make one delicious meal for you. And hopefully it'll be twice as tasty. We, you know, we have been uh, rivals for years, but we're gonna put that in the past. I mean, I've gotten more work experience than him. Uh, he spent most of his life, probably about a third of his life, mm -hmm. studying mm -hmm. to, be a, to be a cook. I don't know why anyone would need to go to school for that. Well, I've been working as a dedicated staff at Jim's Kitchen for years before you even knew, so. So first off, um, I would like to add uh, some mayo. Uh, mayo is a good start. That's point. probably the worst actually. thing you can do. You do not want to make. No, you actually you do, do so. You, that's the that's the. This thing. is this you is wrong. Add. You don't want to do no. that. No, no. Everyone knows that a mayo-based salad dressing is the, delicious. Is the fattiest. It's delicious. No, it is delicious. Is, you want to pack on the pounds? You put the mayo in. Mustard-based salad dressing here for the Caesar. Some mustard in there. You know, we're gonna have to put a bit more than usual to counteract the mayo, because who does that? I've been studying to make salad dressing for at least a year now. I've always used mayo. All right. We failed the exam. We'll start laying out the sauce here. Lay the base out mm -hmm. on our uh, on our dish. Yep. Giving it a nice good mix. Uh, even out the mustard and the mayo. Mm -hmm. And we're doing a square formation. It's a square followed by multiple little squares and then an X. Get a little circle motion. I don't think we're playing tic-tac-toe with here, uh, Gary. tic tac -toes. What is this, your ex-wife? Haha. <laughs> I noticed, uh, Jim, that you had some minced garlic. You know, that's probably the best thing I've heard you say so, so far. Here, grab a handful. There you go, just toss that right in. You gotta make sure that there's no bad spots in the garlic. Minced garlic has a reputation for going bad. Mm -hmm. And then once you realize it's okay, you just- I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a handful myself here actually too. Uh, if you look here, you notice that there is nothing wrong with this minced garlic. Uh, so you just toss, well, as, much actually... as, you, to, toss as much as oh, you want in there. Hey, hey, right here, right here. See that? That needs to go. Okay, so the next step, it's a, it's a little family trick. And I like to just throw a, a couple of olives, actually, into the uh, mix. Why do you, why olives, uh, Gary? Everyone knows that olives are salty, and it's a, it's a great way to add a little bit of texture. No, don't here. put that in there, no. Why would you ever put olives in cedar, cedar salad dressing? Well, Wait, so they not teach you that when you examined? Actually, they taught me to never put olives in anything. Olives are great, why don't you put one in your mouth right now? Oh yeah, they're not good, dude. Just put these away. Oh, dude, you don't want those in there. Oh, we gotta take those out. I was kind of wrong. Those olives taste horrible, and uh, but they're a little bit too far gone in the batter. I, I can't really find them, so we're just gonna keep mixing them in. Uh, in fact, we might just, you know, make sure they're really well mixed in, so the flavor of the olive doesn't over oversaturate any of the bites in particular. I think we can both agree for once that we need some tomatoes in our Caesar. Now that is something I can agree with. Okay, right. why don't you go and get your butt in the fridge and get those tomatoes? I was out. already so, on it, Gary. Yeah. Your ex-wife. I wouldn't be on her in a million years. Yeah, but she was on me if you don't know have I me. Mean. So whatever happened with your ex-wife? Well, uh, this guy, uh, Gary came along, he ruined my life, and now he's trying to ruin my dishes, so... You know, he's probably trying to make your wife happier, and your dishes happier, too. Dishes don't have emotions, Gary. You can wash that one. I'm, 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 I'm washing my own. Wash I'm washing my own. Yeah, wash yours. You had stinky tomatoes. They're not even mine. Start. So we're gonna do a, a mashing technique. 
Alright, you just squeeze that in there. It's not completely mushed there, so we're just gonna take our fist and I guess just pound it out. There. It looks, looks pretty good to me. Pound it out. What do you think there, uh, Gary? Yeah, I think it's actually looking alright. Alright, alright. Uh, there we go. Found it. We usually go for about four tomatoes. We didn't have enough tomatoes, no. so I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna go grab a ketchup. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Do they teach you anything in cutlery school? Well, you already have the mustard in there. If you had the ketchup, you might as well just throw a hot dog in there. You know what, dude? What? You know what, dude? What? You know what, dude? What? Your face is so dumb looking. Oh, okay. Because my I, face. Does because I just keep looking at your my face. Because I just keep you. Yeah. Oh. I keep looking at your face. I'm gonna make it. Throw your ketchup in there. What is ketchup made out of? Yeah, you want to know what's on there? Alright, I'll read what else is on there. Tomato paste. Paste? Yeah, which is what we're making is the paste that goes Liquid in. sugar! Liquid sugar? You're saying it wrong, it's sugar. Sugar. It's not sugar. It's sugar. Are you stupid? Alright, just let them add this ketchup, whatever. So we need uh, the appropriate amount. It smells like crap dinner. We don't need a whole lot because we got the tomatoes in there. Usually, we would add uh, something akin to uh, anchovies at this point. Um, however, I'm not sure we have. No one eats anchovies. I'm sure, that we have any anchovies. No one moment. eats anchovies. So, I found a very good substitute. Um, it's a good thing you put a substitute in because no one puts anchovies in the Caesar salad, you idiot. We have some uh, grated cheese. This is probably going to ruin it. No, this I is probably. I doubt it. I doubt this it. This is going. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna add all of it there. It's so delicious. this salsa. I mean, this Caesar salad. Uh, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Kind of getting me there, Gary. You want to stop that? All right. Well, I think we're just about done here. We uh, added the anchovy-like ingredient. You're actually now. missing. A very crucial ingredient. Uh, we're gonna add some basil. We are actually not going to add basil. Every dish that I've ever cooked in my life had basil in it. Well, maybe that's why they all taste like shit. Maybe that's why your wife tastes like shit. Oh, should I say ex-wife? Right. You don't even know what you're talking about ever. You don't add any basil. Hands are not off. Adding the basil. We are not adding any more ingredients. Rock paper scissors. Fine. Okay. Rock. Paper, scissors. Oh, God damn it. So once we get about three teaspoons of basil in there, it uh, it's all ready to go, and we're gonna try it out. Mmm, perfect. So we got ourselves here a nice big chunk of lettuce right here. Mmm. It's the cheese! <laughs> it's the ketchup, you ketchup! It's the cheese! So gross! Best thing yet! I love it. Yeah. Two chefs, and we're just proving you can't ruin. Too many cooks in the kitchen only make a great meal. Two times the deliciousness. Why don't we get Jim in? Yeah, come here, Jim. Oh, wow. Looks like a good head of lettuce. That's the best head I've ever had. Let's give it a try. Good head. You're a monster. 